आम संतोष आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर सिक्स डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इन ग्लास फ्रॉम कोर्स नंबर पी एच वन वन जीरो फिजिक्स लेबोरेटरी कोर्स फर्स्ट वी विल लर्न द स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर एंड इट्स यूनिट्स लाइक कॉलीमीटर टेलीस्कोप एंड प्रिज्म टेबल देन वी विल लर्न हाउ टू रीड द वर्नियर स्केल फर्दर वी विल सी द प्रोसेस फॉर मेजरमेंट ऑफ एंगल ऑफ प्रिज्म एंड एंगल ऑफ मिनिमम डेविएशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टू परफॉर्म दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी रिक्वायर अ स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर अ प्रिज्म एंड अ सोर्स ऑफ लाइट विच इज सोडियम वेपर लैम्प हेयर द सोडियम वेपर लैम्प provides us monochromatic light actually the sodium vapor lamp has two wavelengths one is 5890 angstrom and another is 5896 angstrom due to less difference between these two we are considering it as a monochromatic source of light in our laboratory it provides yellow light this is collimator it has a slit at one end and a converging lens system at another with this rack and pannion arrangement for its adjustment the collimator emerges parallel beam of light this is astronomical telescope it has a converging lens system at one end and an eyepiece at another with this rack and pannion arrangement for its adjustment this is prism table where we will place the prism it has three leveling screws this prism will be used for our observations as we can see it has only two transparent surfaces and rest three are opaque in nature first we will focus our telescope we will use that table lamp as the focusing object with the help of rack and pannion arrangement it is focused and as we can see we are getting inverted image of the object with the naked eye we are getting this slit image emerging from the collimator we are getting this slit image through our telescope at this time with the help of rack and pannion arrangement of collimator it is adjusted the base of prism table has two vernier scales diametrically opposite to each other at every position of telescope we have to take both the vernier's reading always the prism table with its base and telescope can be moved independently around their common vertical axis now we will learn how to get reading of vernier scale this is the scenario of vernier scale on the main scale we will get the written value like 190 then we will get the written value 200 the middle one is the 195 this one is 191 192 and these are the half parts of these two means it if it is crossing then it we will read 30 minutes so and here this is the vernier scale it has 30 divisions the least count of the vernier scale is 1 minute now we will see where is the zero of our vernier scale in this we can see it is crossing this half part means 191 degrees and 30 minutes so the main scale reading will be 191 degree and 30 minutes now for vernier readings we will count which one vernier is coinciding with the main scale let us suppose the 15th of vernier is coinciding with the main scale then the vsr will be 15 and the list count is 1 minute so we will multiply it with the list count so vsr reading will be 15 minutes now we will add these two and we will get the total reading like this so 191 degree and 45 minutes for this situation now we will do the optical leveling we will place our prism in such a manner that the tip 
of the prism is at center of this prism table and one of the transparent face is perpendicular to the line joining two leveling screws. We will adjust the base of prism table in such a manner that the emerged light beam from the collimator falls equally on the both transparent surfaces and it will be reflected this way. If the reflected rays are obtained in the telescope or in the mid of field of view both sides then it will be called optically leveled. Let us check. This is the position of left reflected ray. As we can see we are getting this light in the mid of field of view it is not going up or down at cross hairs. This is right reflected ray position. As we can see this side also we are getting the image in middle of field of view. Hence it is optically leveled now. Now we will take observations for angle of prism measurement. This is the left reflected ray position. As we can see we are getting the slit image here and it is aligned with vertical cross line. We will take the vernier A and B reading at this position. As we can see the zero of vernier is at 302 degree and the vernier is coinciding on its 17th. So the reading is 302 degree 17 minutes. This is vernier A reading. At this time the vernier reading is 122 degrees and 14 minutes. This is the right reflected position in set 1. We are getting the slit image in our telescope and it is vertically aligned with the crosshair. At this time the vernier reading is 61 degrees 47 minutes. At this time the vernier reading is 241 degrees and 47 minutes. For set 2 we will slightly change the position of the prism and then again by rotating the base of the prism table we will adjust it in such a manner that the parallel beam from collimator falls equally on the transparent surfaces. This is left reflected ray position. This is the slit position in telescope and it is aligned with the vertical cross line. The observed value is 293 degrees and 14 minutes. For vernier B the observed reading is 113 degree and 14 minutes. This reflected image we are getting in telescope and it is aligned with vertical cross hairline. This time the vernier shows the reading 52 degrees and 46 minutes. At this time the vernier shows 232 degrees and 43 minutes. For set 3 we will again change the prism position slightly and again by revolving rotating the base of prism table we will align it with the collimator like this. This is left reflected position. We are getting the image of slit in telescope and it is aligned with vertical cross hairline. The vernier A shows the reading 320 degrees and 46 minutes now. At this time the vernier shows the reading 140 degrees and 48 minutes. This is position for right reflected rays. We are getting the image of slit aligned with vertical cross line. It shows the value 80 degree and 47 minute. Vernier B shows the observation 260 degrees and 47 minutes. As we can see the prism has equilateral triangle. So the angle of prism will come near about 60 degree. 
with the observed data we can get the value of alpha and we will get the mean of that sometimes when we are getting the difference of vernier reading it is not coming 120 degree but it is coming near about 240 degree it means we have rotated the 360 degree of our vernier scales at that time we have to add 360 degree in the smaller value observed with the vernier scales then with the added value we will take the difference with the positions of vernier then we will get near about the value of 120 degree and then alpha value come near about 60 degree after this we have to do the observation for angle of minimum deviation for angle of minimum deviation we will place the prism on the prism table in such a manner that one of the transparent surface will get full light the parallel beam of light from the collimator and refraction will take place and the refracted light will be observed with the help of telescope now we will slowly rotate the prism table and we can see the slit light is coming in right direction right now and with that movement after some point it will go back so this will be the critical position now from here it is going back so this is the critical position we have to stop this rotation over here now we will define this critical position with the help of telescope as we can see it is coming back from this point so we will just stop it here as we can see it is not aligned with the cross here now we will touch the telescope not the prism table again I am telling we will touch the telescope not the prism table for alignment of this with the cross hair now the image is aligned with the vertical cross hair line we will take the observations of vernier A and B at this position and this will give us the deviation position the vernier A observation gives the value 5 degrees and 46 minute the vernier shows the reading 185 degrees and 45 minutes now without disturbing the base of prism table we have to remove this prism from here and we will bring the telescope in front of collimator this will give us the normal position of telescope we are getting the slit image in normal position which is aligned with the vertical cross hair line we will take vernier a and b reading at this position the observation shows the value 326 degrees and 48 minute this time the vernier shows 146 degree and 44 minutes now for second set we are placing the prism in such a manner that the transparent surface will get the parallel beam of light fully and the refracted light will come here this side is the opaque one we will again slightly rotate the base of prism table and as we are getting the slit is going towards left and it is coming back now so this is the position of critical condition so we have to stop this over here by looking through the telescope we are again moving the base of prism table and we are getting the critical position over here so we have to stop it here as we can see it is not aligned with the cross hair we have to bring our telescope to align it with the cross hair as we can see it is aligned with the vertical cross line so by taking the vernier a and b reading we will get the deviation position the vernier shows the observation at 321 degree 50 minutes the observation shows the reading 141 degrees and 47 minutes now without disturbing the base of prism table we just remove the prism from prism table 
and we will bring the telescope in front of collimator. We are getting the normal position through telescope over here which is aligned with vertical line of crosshair. At this position of telescope we will obtain vernier A and B readings. This time the vernier shows 0 degree and 50 minutes reading. This time the vernier shows 180 degrees and 46 minutes. For third set of observation, again we will keep the prism in such a manner that a transparent surface is getting full light from the collimator and the refracted ray will come this side. With our naked eye, we are getting the critical position over here. So we will stop the rotation here. With the telescope, we are able to define the critical position over here as it is coming back from this critical point. As we can see, it is not aligned with the crosshair. We will align it with the help of telescope movement. Now it is aligned with the vertical crosshair line. We will observe vernier A and vernier 2 at this position. The vernier shows the reading 26 degrees 17 minutes at this time. The observed value is 206 degrees and 16 minutes. Now without disturbing the base of prism table, we are just moving down our prism. Now we will bring the telescope in front of collimator to get the normal position. In the normal position, we are getting the slit image which is aligned with the vertical cross hairline. This time, the observed value is 347 degrees and 18 minutes. This time, the observed value is 167 degrees and 15 minutes. Hence, with the help of observed data in this video and our laboratory manual, one can calculate the speed of light in glass. Thank you.